what about uh, Ho Xiaoxian? How do you see um, his films over the oh, years? I, I think Ho Xiaoxian is a massively important director, an enormously gifted director. Uh, strangely enough, he started by made three films which were, I don't know if you saw them, uh, which were, I would say, conventional. Mm -hmm. And not bad, not bad, but which had nothing special. What made that suddenly it changed completely his style, his approach, etc. Uh, but actually for me, at the beginning of cinema, when cinema, when there was no no theory about cinema, there was no, mm -hmm. nothing, just people were making films. There was this simplicity, uh, this uh, mm -hmm. starkness, uh, it was raw also, and it was absolutely, uh, the, the things were briefing, you know, uh, they were not contrived, they were briefing and they were natural. And for example, last year, only last year, I saw a film of 1908 called La Samoire, and it was done by a French director from Italian descent called Albert Capellani. Mm -hmm. And La Samoire 1908 is an extraordinary film. Capellani had the gift, he had the eye, where to put the camera and where to put the actors at what distance of the camera and that things were coming alive. At the same time, in Australia, there was a gentleman called Raymond Longford, and most of his work has disappeared, but uh, the one reel exists of one of his films called The Romance of Margaret Catchpole, and there is a shot uh, the cam where the camera is moving to follow the two characters, and again, there is a feeling of breath, there is a feeling of air, there is a feeling of space, which is sensational. So anyway, Usha Oshien and Edouard Young, to a certain extent, uh, had the idea to go back to mm -hmm. extreme simplicity. And I think that was extraordinary. Liked what you said about um, you know the placement of cameras yeah. um, because that was exactly what I learned um, just over that two weeks I was in Busan mm -hmm. um, uh, and then we, we had some workshops with with him. I came from a very conventional kind of a very technical film school, mm -hmm. you know. So all I was learning were, were you know the Hollywood conventions and you know how to tell a story, what a mm -hmm. plot is, and all of that. But you know. I remember doing this one scene with Ho Xiaoxian um, at a, just that bus station in Busan and he would just sit us down and just ask us to have noodles with him and then and just observe how how people move you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. and 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 how people interact in that space and then from there how do we place the camera you know where do we place the camera to to allow you know the movement to to happen and where where does the actor walk from and all that? And that just blew my mind because, you know, it was, it was the kind of cinema that I was never taught, you know, and perhaps you can never learn. I think for young filmmakers uh, like you, uh, the best thing is not to imitate, just to be yourself, to uh, not to think of who shall share, not whoever. No, well, but of course, with, with so many great masters that, you know, have preceded us, yeah. um, you're bound to be influenced by one filmmaker or another, you know, and I think... No, I think not influence. I think what, what is important is you are, that you inspire. Yeah, of course. No, but because if you are influenced, if you say, I am influenced or I should be influenced, then you are trying to imitate. And so if you try to imitate, you lose your spontaneity, you lose your freshness, you lose, you lose yourself. What about Li Changdong? 
Uh, Li Shangdong is a very deep person, extremely shy, extremely vulnerable. Actually, every great artist has to be vulnerable. You know, I think the fact that uh, someone is strong, I don't believe in that. Someone can be tough in the way to react to the world, to react to the profession, but to be strong, I don't believe it. I have known many people, as you know, many, not only filmmakers, but writers and, and just people. And I think the most interesting people are the people who are deeply vulnerable. And Li Shangdong is, is so vulnerable that he perceives infinitesimal uh, perceptions in you, in himself, in, in the mood around. And it is what is infusing his work, what is infusing his scene, his characters, his relationship between characters, and beyond that, the totality of the film. He's so dedicated to, to, to the characters. Absolutely. You know? It's almost like in a novel. But you know, uh, you probably know that Li Shangdong is a novelist, you know, and also a short story writer. You are absolutely right. Uh, Li Shangdong's pictures, are, are, to a large extent, are like novelas. They go, they don't stay on the surface of a scene. They don't go, uh, they don't stay mm. on just looking at, at a character, uh, even if a character is formidably uh, drawn on the screen. He goes deep, deep, deeper in the, into the character, and through that, uh, maybe it sounds silly the way I will say it, but he goes to the origin of life, you know. Life is when you will perceive something, but out of a perception, you uh, feel something. And Li Shangdong, it's really an extraordinary immediacy on that, maybe an urgency, you know. What, what is good cinema? I mean, we've spoken about so many what kinds is good cinema? of cinema. Yeah. I know what is bad cinema. <laughs> no, I know what is good cinema when I see it. You know, first, let's say it's conventional what I will say. Uh, you need a good story. You need a good casting. The casting is very important because with uh, good casting, you can ac make people accept a uh, bad story. When if you have bad casting, you will not make people accept a good story. Uh, that it has to be uh, shot simply or uh, every shot is simple. But the construction of shots is not uh, so simple. You know, there's a lot of elements which make a good film. And sometimes it, it is the, the balance it is the, which makes it working or not working. So what, what, are, what are some of the, the, the good films you've seen or great films that you've seen over the past two, two or three years? In the last years, uh, the work of Clint Eastwood with some of the films like uh, Letters from Iwo Jima. I think uh, Clint uh, has certainly in the last 10, 12 years, has certainly been one of the most important filmmakers mm -hmm. worldwide. Uh, just recently, I saw in America a new film by Alexander Payne, The Descendants, and I think it's quite a remarkable picture. I thought I liked also the last picture by Jane Campion, Bright Star, but I think it was really a deeply sensitive film, and really one, film which, uh, one of the few films which communicate you poetry. You know, and poetry for me in films is not, oh, it's a beautiful sunset, it's a beautiful flower, it's a beautiful what. For me, that's not poetry. Uh, poetry is uh, freshness, it's uh, uh, spontaneity, it's vulnerability. Are you acquainted with uh, any of the new uh, cinema movements that are happening in Southeast Asia? For example, in the Philippines, uh, I think uh, Brillante Mendoza mm -hmm. is certainly one of the best filmmakers in this region and uh, in Malaysia, uh, I like uh, Oh Young, you know, it's a, a, quite a good, a promising filmmaker. Indonesia, where for me, of course, the prominent director is by far uh, Gary Nugro, who has been a strong force okay. in Asia. So. Thailand, I don't know too well. I like Penang, I like, of course, Ap Apita Chong, but I, I would like to know more. In all these countries, I would like to know more. In Singapore, I would like to know more. And we're talking about Singapore films? Uh, no, I don't know too, I, you know, Singapore films for people like me, we, we don't know many. You know, we don't know the old Singaporean cinema. We know a little bit of in, uh, the old Malay cinema. But very poor prints. Malay cinema of the 50s is like a different civilization. The culture is not the same. The society is not the same. The old traditions are gone.
as far as I know, but I believe it's probably a correct assessment, Eric Koo was the new initiator of cinema. And he happens to have talent. And I, was a, I saw Mi Pok Man. I quite liked it. And it was too late to submit it to Cannes. Made, uh, I became uh, relatively friendly at that time. I became more friendly since that with uh, Eric. And I liked uh, 12 stories. And I brought it to Cannes. And then, of course, Be With Me. Every film is different, including Tatsumi, his recent film. Donna Satama, Katsos.